um, my name is Nicole and I am your Pampered Chef consultant, Nicole Gessner. Um, I am going to be using the cooking blender again um, today and this is a fantastic appliance to have in your kitchen. It um, not only does really smooth smoothies, but you can do alternative milks. So you can do coconut milk, almond milk, um, those types of milks in it. It has a heated wash cycle, so um, you don't have to worry about trying to clean it up. It will actually self-clean. It's um, And then um, it also has a grind, so you can make your nut butters, so your peanut butter, almond butter, um, cashew butter, all of those types of butters. Um, it has a patent pendant um, jam setting and sauce setting from Pampered Chef. Um, it's got a soup set setting and then heated puree for things like baby foods or if you're trying to sneak some veggies into your kids' meals, um, you can puree some of those and keep them in the freezer and add them to recipes. Um, but today, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, I'm getting, I'm prepping for Thanksgiving and I am going to be making um, some caramel sauce, homemade caramel sauce. So I'm gonna do this ahead of time and I'm gonna refrigerate it. You can last, it will last a couple of weeks in your refrigerator. Um, uh, let me back up for a minute. With your cooking blender, you do get a tamper. This is great for when you're on the grind setting, um, when you're trying to do your um, nut butters. You can take off this top piece and then your tamp goes right in there and you tamp it around um, to get things back into the blades to grind them up, okay? Um, today, and you'll, you'll notice that you hear when the lid is latched, it does ding and let you know. It will not work unless the lid is attached. Um, and so that's a nice safety feature for this as well. You don't have to worry about blending things without a lid on. Um, so today to get started um, on the caramel sauce, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in, I have one cup of light brown sugar. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that in. Um, and I love these, um, this is the small um, scraper from Pampered Chef. It's got kind of a bowl shape in it so that you can really scrape things out. Um, I use this nine times out of 10 in my kitchen. Um, it's my go-to scraper. Um, it's the mix and scrape is what it is, and this is the small. They also have a large and a mini, um, and I use all, all of them, honestly. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm adding the brown sugar, and then I'm gonna add in a half a cup of heavy whipping cream. And you'll notice that I am using um, this measuring cup from Pampered Chef. And this measuring cup is um, fantastic because um, as I'm measuring, um, it's the Easy Read measuring cup, and as I'm pouring, I can see right from the, right here, I can, I can see how much I'm pouring in. So I don't have to bend down and stoop down and hope I'm getting the correct measurement. I can just set it on my counter, pour things in, and get the correct measurements, okay? Um, so I'm adding in a half a cup of heavy whipping cream into my blender. Get all that goodness out into the blender. And then I'm going to go ahead and add in the um, butter. And I have a quarter of a cup or half a stick and I just went ahead and sliced it up um, using this really nice Pampered Chef um, paring knife um, that has a, um, it has a really nice case that goes ahead and sharpens your blade for you. Um, and then it's also childproof. So if I do that, then my children can't get at my my blades and it does sharpen it. I've had this for a really long time um, and, I, and I just love them. Um, in fact, I've loved, I love all of my Pampered Chef knives that I've ever gotten from them. I want to say the Sandu, uh, Santuku knife is probably my very favorite. 
um, because it just is really nice feeling in my hand and I just love it. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and add in vanilla extract. I make my own, but Pamper Chef does sell during the holidays. Um, they sell a really nice double strength pure vanilla extract. Um, being that it is double strength, you can use um, just about half of whatever the recipe calls for, but um, I love vanilla, so I usually just put in um, the full amount. And this is just some that I've made myself with vanilla beans um, and vodka. Um, and if you're interested in that, please comment below and I can do a video on that as well. Um, so it says one and a half teaspoons. This is my teaspoon measure from Pampered Chef. I like the oval shape that it has because it fits right into spice containers. Um, I don't usually measure my vanilla, but oops. Yeah, we'll just, there we go, teaspoon and a half. Um, and because that was a half a, tees a half a teaspoon measure, that's why I did it so many times. Um, and then I have salted butter, so I'm, I'm gonna leave the salt out. I don't usually put a lot of salt in things. Um, you know what, I do like salted caramel though, so maybe I'll put a little bit in. Um, I don't use a lot of salt in cooking, but I will put a little bit of salt in there because I do like salty caramel. And, um, and then the other thing is cinnamon. And Pepper uh, Chef during the holiday season sells a fantastic cinnamon. It's called Corin, oh, I'm not gonna get this right, Corin Cor Genie Cinnamon. Um, it is a great flavor. And so if you're looking for cinnamon, um, you can also get that from us. Um, what I'm gonna do is put on my lid though. If you heard that, did you hear that? That tells me that it is latched, latched and ready to go. What I'm going to do is just cook it on sauce, okay? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn my knob until you'll start to see like smoothie, alternative milk, grind, heated wash, soup, heated puree, jam, sauce. So sauce is automatically programmed to come to 176 degrees. And um, so I'm gonna hit the center button. It's going to heat and then it's gonna blend, which will then stir and it will continue that process until it reaches 176 degrees. Once it reaches that, it'll tell me to add. At that point, I will add in the cinnamon and I'll press the wheel again and it will mix that in for me and continue to heat it to 176. When it is done, it will tell me that it is finished and, um, and I'll come back and I'll show you what the finished product looks like. All right, so it just hit end. It beeps to tell me that it is over, as you can hear, just like that. And it will continually beep until I turn it off. Um, to let me know that it is done. To lift off, you're gonna hold the base, you're gonna lift up on um, this end and then pull off, okay? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. So I have beautiful caramel sauce. It is extremely hot, so be very careful. It is bubbling because it has heated it um, to the setting it needs to. I'm gonna actually put it in this um, squeeze bottle because, um, and I just washed it out, because of the fact that I want to, um, on Thanksgiving, I'm going to let this come back up to room temperature and I'm gonna squeeze it over top of um, the dessert I'm gonna make, which is, if I can find the title of it. Um, I don't know if I printed the title. Um, it is, it's kind of like a caramel apple, um, it's got like a cookie crust and um, peanut butter and cream cheese mixture. It's kind of like a, a, it's like a caramel apple pizza type thing, like dessert pizza. And then over the top, I'm gonna drizzle caramel over it. Um, it smells amazing. I'm just kind of letting it cool off for just a second before I put it in here. I don't want it to melt my bottle because um, it is very, very hot. Um, and then don't worry about cleaning this up because um, this blender has a self-clean option and so that's what I will be using. Um, hopefully it's cooled down enough. And then, um, so I'm just gonna pour it into my bottle here. Hopefully, I'm thinking just, well, I guess I'm gonna have to use both bottles. I was hoping that it would fit in one bottle 
but it does look like it's gonna need the other bottle, which is fine. This can also be an ice cream topping. This would go great on a apple pie for Thanksgiving or Christmas. Um, oh look, it almost made two bottles. This I tested to see how um, the capacity of these bottles, they were one cup, so I was thinking that it would just fill one, um, but actually it filled two um, containers. And so um, I might just leave the tops off of them, but this is a squeeze bottle so that I can squeeze it right onto my dessert. Um, so I'm probably gonna just set them off, let them cool for a few minutes before I top them. To clean this out, all I'm going to do is add in um, three cups of water. Let me turn it back on. I'm gonna add in three cups of water and a splash of dish soap, um, one dot actually to be um, perfectly honest. Let me grab a measuring cup just so that I can put in three cups real quick for you um, of water. I'm not even using hot water. I could use hot water. It doesn't matter. It's going to heat it anyways. It is a heated wash. Um, so I'm just going to add in three cups of water. You can also measure it on the side of the container. You don't want to go over three cups um, or one dot of soap because it will be very sudsy and it could overflow. So just one dot of, I'm just using Dawn. I just keep the small bottle around for exactly this purpose. I'm gonna put the lid back on and I'm gonna put it to the heated wash cycle. Now the only thing that you might have to wash by hand would be just this top band and then the same thing under this lid, just this top band if it gets real dirty. Um, same thing with, sorry, same thing with this piece um, under here. Sometimes it gets up into that and you'll have to wash that by that part by hand um, or just wipe it off by hand with, with a sudsy towel before you rinse it off. So once it's done with its heated wash, then you rinse it out and you dry it off um, and that's it. And then you put it away. So now that I've got my water and my soap in here, I'm going to go ahead and move it over to the heated wash here. It is going to heat up the water to 140. It will beep when it is all done. I'm gonna hit the go and then it's going to spin, heat, spin, heat, and then it'll spin all the way clean. All of this will be clean um, and I will come back and show you what that looks like when it's all done. You can hear it heating up the water. It's 
to 133 degrees. And 36 degrees. take it off or when you take the lid off and then if you look in there you can see all the suds you can see the steam now I am gonna have to clean this little piece off um, but all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dump it out and I'm gonna rinse it and then I'm gonna have to take my little scrubby for that one little area but it's not too bad and then maybe just right on the outside lip um, but really it's not bad They do give you, with it, they do give you this little um, scrub brush in case you have to get into the little nooks and crannies down by the blade. Um, so sometimes, like right here, you might have to brush some stuff off because it's kind of gotten a little, um, you know, kind of burnt on there. Not really burnt, but, you know, it's, it's, it's cooking at the bottom. Um, same thing down here. You might have to get in here just a little bit, but really mine looks pretty good up here and then on the outside because obviously the liquid doesn't go to the outside um, and then right where the lid is, but that's it. And then you just rinse it real good with um, just some water and dry it off. And then the lid you could put in the dishwasher. Um, but again, it's already pretty much clean. I might brush it a little bit here and there, that same brush, but I really, I mean, this is, and this was sticky. This was caramel that I made in here. So it came off pretty good. Smoothies, no problem. I do not have to do any kind of scrubbing. Um, cranberry sauce, maybe just a little bit on the lid and right where the lid um, hits, but, um, that's pretty good. And then you just dry it off inside and out. 
Make sure that, again, you don't, you don't submerge it in water. This cannot be submerged in water because this is the electronic piece. Then you just put it back on after you've dried it thoroughly um, and put it back away. And because I use it so often, I just kind of leave it right on my, uh, my counter. And that is it. Turn that off, wipe everything down a little bit, and away it'll go. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, if you'd like to host a party, that would be great. Um, we can host virtual parties. Um, just let me know. I'd love to be your consultant. Thank you for joining.